Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video actually just kind of came to me. Um, I've been getting lots of questions and comments about this topic lately, and I thought that I would just make this video because I actually think that it will be really helpful to people who have any type of reptiles or small animals that eat lots of fruits and vegetables. So I've seen tons of comments recently to me, actually on all of my hermit crab videos, of people having problems with fruit flies. If you're someone who does feed a lot of fruit and veggies to your reptiles, then maybe you've experienced fruit flies. Basically, it's just these little bitty flies that are so tiny, they're extremely hard to kill or catch. But usually anywhere where there is fruit, they kind of find their way there. I've actually never had a problem with fruit flies on my hermit crab's food until I got a turtle. So as you guys know, I have a turtle and hermit crabs, and both of them do require fruit and vegetables in their diets. Koa eats a whole lot more vegetables and fruit than my hermit crabs do, so I find that his bowl of fruits and veggies is the one that seems to be attracting the most fruit flies. So I thought since I've had this problem before and I finally found something that works for me to get rid of them, I thought that I would share that with you guys today. If you're like me and you hate bugs, as you guys know, I have a history with bugs. I hate them. So as frustrating as fruit flies are, they're pretty inevitable. If you feed your animal lots of fruits and veggies, you're bound to have them at one time or another. Luckily, they're not as bad as something like mites or something like that, which can also affect reptile tanks. So I basically have three different methods to show you guys to help cut down on the fruit flies. And I really hope that these methods work for you guys. So far, they've been working great for me. I still see one or two flies every once in a while. So as far as where these flies are coming from and how they're getting into your house, um, if you've ever been to the grocery store and you go to get a fruit or vegetable and you see tons of these little flies everywhere, they're very good at hitching rides in boxes and things of vegetables. That's why it's so important to rinse your fruits and vegetables off before that you eat them or before you chop them up and give them to your animals. But obviously their eggs or larvae or whatever are very, very tiny and the flies as adults are super, super tiny. So they're really easy to miss. But like I said, I recently had a problem with this. So hopefully these methods are helpful to you guys today. So my first tip for getting rid of flute flies fruit flies. <laughs> so my first tip for getting rid of fruit flies in your reptile enclosure is making sure to empty out your food dishes daily. Now this can be a little bit hard for me with Koa. I know personally um, I do leave his food in there for two days so like I feed him every other day and the reason I do that is it was recommended by his vet. However if you have like a normal tortoise that isn't really picky like a box turtle is, getting rid of any fruits and veggies that have just been laying in their bowl that have been left uneaten will make sure that the fruit flies aren't having anything to kind of sit and feed on as it decays. However, I know personally with Koa, he does not like fruits and vegetables very much, so he leaves a lot on his bowl. So if you're like me and you're already keeping an eye on the dish and cleaning it out every other day or every day, and you need additional measures, I do have two more tips for you. So my second tip is basically a DIY homemade method to get rid of these flies. So this is pretty much what the DIY method looks like. Here I have just a regular little stemless wine glass. Now you can obviously use any little glass that you have. So basically what this is, is it's a glass filled with vinegar and then it's covered with saran wrap. And you're like, how is that gonna help you get rid of flies? Well, trust me, this method works really, really well. I actually keep this on the counter in my kitchen and it's worked well with me for quite a while. So basically all I do is I take this little glass and then I take some plain white vinegar and you can use apple cider vinegar. I've heard that works better than the plain vinegar, but basically I just take the vinegar, I put it in the bottom of the glass about halfway full. Then you take your saran wrap and wrap it really tightly over the glass and you poke teeny tiny little holes in the top. So what happens is, is the fruit flies are attracted to the smell of the vinegar. They're gonna come onto the top of this to try to get to that really strong scent since that's what they're drawn to is the odor, the really strong smells. And once they go into the little holes to get to the vinegar, they can't actually get back out. This one's been on my counter for about a month now and it's actually worked really, really well. I keep this actually by my bananas because we do eat a lot of bananas in my house. And of course, bananas are a fruit, so they're going to attract these little flies from the grocery store. So I find this method works really, really well, and it's pretty inexpensive. And my third tip for getting rid of these flies is if you don't want to do the DIY method that I just showed you, and you have a little money to spend and you're at the store, you can get this fruit fly trap by Taro. This is actually what I currently have on the top of Koa's tank. Now it's very important to remember, do not put these inside of your reptile enclosures, because if they get knocked over, you don't want your animal exposed to any type of vinegar solution. However, I do have have one of these sitting on top of Koa's tank. It's only been there for two days, so it hasn't caught anything yet. But basically, this is the same exact idea as the DIY method that I showed you. So here's the little tarot kit right here. As you can see, it has a little plastic apple, and then on the back, it has the solution in here. 
Now, I'm going to be honest with you. If you want to just save your money and just do the DIY version, that's what I would suggest. It's a lot easier. You don't have to go this method. This is just if you have the money to spend and you're at the store and you're looking for something quick, you can just buy this. It's already got the vinegar solution pre-made right here. And it does come with a little bitty apple, which kind of looks a little bit neater than the glass version. You know what I mean? It's a little bit cleaner. I'm going to be getting rid of this one now since I have this because this kit does come with two, which is really handy. This is really easy to use. It kind of works the same as the DIY. You just just take the little apple, you fill it up halfway with the little vinegar solution that they've given you, and then you just sit it on top of the tank. It's really simple. It's actually an easier version than the DIY. The DIY is just the cheaper option, but it works essentially the same way, and it's supposed to help you get rid of those pesky little fr fries. Fries. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much my only tips on how you can get rid of fruit flies. I'm sure there are other methods out there, but these are the methods that have been working best for me. These little flies are really pesky and they hitchhike on fruit from the store, so it's really hard to get rid of them and kind of round them all up because they are so tiny. But I really do find that these methods work great for me for getting rid of them and I've had great success. So let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful to you guys. Good luck catching your flies. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.